It was one of the most memorable days in NFL history. October 7, 1984, Walter Payton needed just 67 yards to break a long-standing NFL record. With the Chicago Bears hosting the New Orleans Saints at Soldier Field, Payton surpassed Jim Brown's all-time rushing record, finishing the game with a career total of 12,400 yards, cementing his place as one of the greatest players of all time. Walter Jerry Payton was an All-American coming out of Jackson State University. He rushed for more than 3,500 yards and scored 66 touchdowns during his college career, catching the attention of the Chicago Bears, who drafted him in the first round in 1975, fourth overall. But he got off to an inconspicuous start, held without a single yard on eight carries in his NFL debut. You come from a small school, nobody thinks that you can you know maybe do anything and then you get to Chicago your first time out you don't gain a yard and then people are already doubting you going why do we take a why, why do we take this guy in the first round in the first pick but Peyton would soon erase any doubts about his abilities the player that stood just five feet ten inches tall and weighed 200 pounds had a combination of speed and surprising power that would help him rewrite the record books during his 13-year career with the Bears. It was game seven of the 1984 season, a gray and rainy day in Chicago, the definition of bear weather, but none of it could dampen the excitement and anticipation of the day. I think the whole entire city of Chicago was waiting for that moment. I mean, ever since my dad put on a Bears uniform, I think, and over the times where you started to see him, you know, rack up all these yards, it got to that point. And fall it did. Early in the second half, with Peyton needing just two yards to break the record, the Bears called for a play known as Toss 28 Week. Quick picture, Walton. He's got it. I mean, it's, I hear it over and over again, and I watch my dad holding the ball like a loaf of bread on probably one of the biggest runs of his career. The game stopped after Peyton's historic run. His Bears teammates embraced him to celebrate the accomplishment. The fans at Soldier Field gave him a lengthy standing ovation, and his family toasted the record mark with champagne in a suite. Peyton rushed for 154 yards total in the win over the Saints that day, and also broke another of Jim Brown's records with the 59th 100-yard rushing game of his career. But Peyton had much bigger goals on his mind. Peyton and the Bears went on to win the Super Bowl the following season, and Sweetness played for three more years, rushing for a total of 16,726 yards over his 13-year career, a record which stood until 2002 when the Cowboys Emmett Smith broke it and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1993. Peyton died of a rare liver disease at just 45 years old, but his legend lives on thanks in part to his unforgettable achievement on October 7, 1984.